Hi everyone, this is Anjali Pathak and welcome to my channel. In this video, we will go through few more questions on Tableau Desktop Specialist exam. So let's walk through them. So number one is the icon associated with the field that has been grouped is a paper clip globe intersection equal to hash. Now let me take you to uh, Tableau for this. So let's say I have a view here. and uh, i want to group few of the values so let's say i click on envelope fasteners and furnishing and i click on this paper clip which is uh, two group members when i click this a new field will be formed here new dimension and this is a group because i have grouped three values of this dimension called subcategory and now you will see a paper clip over here so this is what is uh associated with the group paper clip so paper clip is the answer for this one which of the following is not a trend line model logarithmic linear exponential and binomial now for this let me take you to tableau help so when you search this topic add trend lines to a visualization and just scroll down you will see that whenever we want to add a trend line it gives us these five options linear logarithmic exponential polynomial and power so basically uh, you don't have any binomial over here right we saw logarithmic linear exponential binomial is not there so that is not a trend line model third question is what is this entire view referred to as in tableau now this view let me take you to tableau basically this view is nothing but the analytic pane if you see here summarize model and custom summarize model and custom so this pane is called as analytic pane this is the normal data pane where you have all the fields and here is the analytic so you want to perform any type of analytic like adding these lines adding any model and or reference line band box plot those are all custom so this is nothing but analytic pane fourth is how do you identify a continuous field in tableau it is identified by a green pill it is preceded by a equal to hash symbol it is identified by a blue pill it is preceded by a abc symbol let me take you to tableau help okay this was one uh, this one was for the previous question analytics pane you can read more about this then if you search this topic dimensions and measures blue and green uh, do read this topic very thoroughly because it is uh, really essential to understand the difference between dimensions and measures and blue and green i also have made one video on this dimension and measures you can go through it i'll leave the link of that video in the description so basically when you come here you will see that uh, uh, continuous field in tableau so continuous if you see here green green measures and dimensions are continuous blue measures and dimensions are discrete so our answer would be green so it is identified by a green pill in a visualization when you talk about continuous field either it could be dimension or it could be a measure but it is green and continuous so this one is the answer then for creating variable sized bins we use set calculated field groups table calculation now groups are static and that is not something like variable sized bins right and uh, using sets we only get in and out members so it again cannot be used for variable size bins and table calculation works only on the aggregated data so only thing left is calculated fields and if you want to read more on this i would say go here creating variable size bins uh, article i would suggest go here and read one article on creating variable sized fields and you can see like how calculated fields are being utilized to create 
very well sized bin right so yeah calculated fields is the answer which of the following points are true about viz animation tableau enables animations for your viz by default sequential animations take more time but make complex changes clearer by presenting them step by step it is possible to turn them on for the entire workbook at once animations work well with maps polygons and density maps in web browsers and let me take you to tableau help here you can search topic called format animation okay and here you have very good explanation on simultaneous animations okay you can play the animation also here how it is it playing then uh, this is like sequential animation okay then animate visualizations in a workbook when you create a new workbook tableau enables animations for your viz by default so this one was the first this is true then sequential animations take more time right so yeah sequential animations take more time but make complex changes clearer right this one is also true then it is possible to turn them on for the entire workbook at once so i think yes if you want to animate every sheet under workbook default click on so this way you can click it on i mean you can turn it on for uh, the entire workbook right so yes it is possible the animation uh, work well with maps polygons and density map so go down and uh, so animations are supported by all web browsers except internet explorer this uh, just remember and then following tableau features don't animate here you have maps polygons density map so these don't animate so this will be false so only a b c are true so this is the answer then what does it imply if a field has a blue background so just like we saw it on uh, other question so blue always means it is discrete okay uh, it could be a measure it could be a dimension but if it is blue it is discrete so that's the answer and uh, again you can read the same topic which is dimensions and measures blue and green on tableau help okay true or false enabling any other type of sort whether it is field alphabetic or nested clears the manual sort we create now the answer is true for this definitely and you can read more on the sorting here you can see all so types of sorting basically sort from an axis sort from a header sort from a field label missing sort icons right nested sorts understanding incorrect sorts clear sorts right so i would advise you to read this entire topic on sorting okay and you also experiment this when you can you know manually sort dimension okay and then uh, you can again sort it by field or by alphabetic or nested and it will definitely clear the manual sort which you would have created so answer is true for this now when using a blend what is the color of tick mark on the primary and secondary data sources respectively okay so let me again take you to tableau help search this topic called as blend your data and if you go down here you will see that uh, they mentioned the primary data source is indicated with a blue check mark on the data source here this is blue tick mark this is the primary data source and fields from the primary data source used in the view have no indication so here if you see this field and this field have no indication so these are from primary data source the secondary data source is indicated with the with an orange check mark on the data source and an orange bar down the side of the data pane so this one is the orange check mark so this is secondary data source and fields from the secondary data source used in the view 
have an orange check mark so here this is orange check mark this field is coming from this secondary data source so primary is blue and secondary is orange a tableau support case can be opened in which of the following valid ways using the support option on the tableau website using the developer community forum contact sales force using their website using the tableau learn website so the answer to this question is using the support option on the tableau website and i'll show you here you can go to this website tableau.com/support/case and here you can always uh, start a support case over here like you, know, you can type anything uh, <coughs> any issue which you are facing okay click on search and then after we search button tableau will show you uh, the knowledge base also which it has in the support and uh, if you are not satisfied and if you still want to submit you can always click here submit a support case okay so yeah the answer is using the support option on the tableau website then which of the following returns the absolute value of a given number uh, ceiling uh, abs floor or zn so i would advise you to go through all the functions number functions over here available in tableau so avs is the one which returns the absolute value of the given number and there are others also like ceiling rounds a number to the nearest integer of equal or greater value then you have uh, i think said n floor and zn so floor floor is just the opposite of ceiling rounds a number to the nearest integer of equal or lesser value and then finally zn so zn is nothing but returns the expression if it is not null otherwise returns zero use this function to use zero values instead of null values okay so the answer is abs then true or false sets can be created on measures okay let me show you this on tableau if you click on any dimension let's say here you will see that you get the option of creating a set now do the same thing on any measure okay on any measure you will see that you don't get that option of creating sets right so it is not possible to create a set on measure so this is definitely false then context filters are executed after data source filter so again let me take you to tableau help and here if you see the order of operation context filters comes after data source filter so yes this is true then which of the following are valid ways to trigger actions for a dashboard whether it's click double click select over menu let me take you to tableau and uh, let me take you to a dashboard let's say we have a dashboard and i click on dashboard actions okay and uh, i want to create one action let's say highlight the moment you add an action so this is what is uh, the question is about valid ways to trigger actions for a dashboard these are the valid ways you can hover you can select you can click on menu so hover select and menu these are the three options okay so yeah these are the three options now dates in tableau are typically treated as and now again if i take you to tableau you will see that whichever date is present in your data set like here we have two dates ship date and order date now by default they have come in dimension right so they are typically treated as dimension and if you want to read more on this you can always read on this topic called as dates and times 
so here they have clearly mentioned like for relational data sources dates and times are automatically placed in the dimension area of the data pane right so yeah this is dimension so that's it guys thank you for watching this video do subscribe to my channel and like this video thank you